Andy with me and then Big Charlie and very rarely do I have a few of the guys together. So I want to do real quick, it's raining. This brother had a good testimony and if he wants to share it, I, I don't think I, did I ever meet you before brother? Yes you did. What is your name? It's James. James, okay, I didn't remember it, but if you want to talk a little bit, Andy, give a word. What's going on? I Jesus, went, Jesus, he's, he's always going on, he how, never sleeps. How come when I went to visit your brother David, there was no answer at the door? Well, because he's been awake for uh, several days. I, I thought that, yes, I went yeah. kind of early. You know, he's uh, he's been down and out, and when he gets lonely, he, he drifts back into the old uh, beggarly elements of this world, I just, so to speak. Look, those of you that watch that, you see what he just quoted? Colossians 2, which I posted this morning. So now the verse, Andy has no idea, I posted the teaching on Colossians today, and he just quoted that out of Colossians 2. It's also in Galatians. Now See once you happens? escape the pollutions of this world, and you become entangled again and overcome, the latter end is worse than the beginning. That's Peter. Now a lot of people have been um, set free from the addiction of drugs or alcohol or what have you, or just themselves. But once they become entangled in those same things they were set free from, if they get overcome, the latter end's worse than the beginning. So it's really not good to, uh, to uh, play with those things because it's like playing with fire. You'll get burnt sooner and, or later. You know what's interesting? I was talking to Big Charlie, which is right there. And right, uh, oh, we were talking about a testimony actually. And I mentioned Andy's name. I haven't seen Andy in about, as soon as I said his name, I didn't realize Andy was, he showed up. Like in my view, I said, isn't that something? Charles, James, tell me the testimony. You went to, you, te, be honest with it. You, you did six months in the county. Four months in the county. Okay, tell okay. the story and then how you went to Rock City. Um, That's a good testimony. I was released yesterday. Okay. And um, I got off the bus here in the bluff last night about 6.30, 7 o'clock. I went straight to Rock City Church, straight there. I didn't go nowhere else. Just, I met up uh, you know, with some people, Christian people I know in here, and uh, we began talking, and uh, I told them that I'm ready to, to begin searching for work and everything again. So uh, the brothers prayed over me last night, and they pretty much let God know that, that Brother James need the work and that, that they were sure that he was gonna provide. So this morning, I was walking by the restaurant over here, say bomb, and it just was up on my heart to go ask the man. I seen him out spraying the back patio. I walked right up to him, and I asked him, I said, sir, excuse me. I said, uh, would you have a position as a dishwasher or a busboy available? He said, that's funny, you should ask. He said, because my dishwasher quit last night. So. So, uh, Even Albert, when he took, when James told that, I let him finish. Even Albert yeah. said, "Wow." Yeah. The dishwasher quit last night. And you were, and by the way, those of you that are not familiar with the area, I go sometimes to Rock City Church, which is a good church, but that restaurant is right across the highway on the other From side. From the church. Yes. I mean directly across yes, the highway. It so, is right on the other hey, side of the highway. Some of the prayers got sent up, and the blessings came down. So uh, the man's going to make it possible for me to, to engage in some employment with him. I mean, it's going to take a little bit of uh, work on my side, but hey. And you know, it was, and that's what I wanted James to share earlier. That's yeah, a good testimony. And even Albert, who you've seen before, said, wow. You know, so that's like it. We give glory to God. Charlie, James, 